What's up, guys? It's Super DBZ 800G here, back at you with another video. Now, I'm making another uh, Soul Calibur 6 video to show you guys how to make Natsu from Fairy Tail. I've actually been watching it on Netflix. I think there's three seasons? Three seasons? Four? Somewhere in there? Three, four seasons? The first one's on Netflix, so I've been binge watching the first season, which is actually really good. It, it's really good. I really like it. it. It's it's crazy, man. It's I think Natsu is like one of my top five favorite characters, man. Along with Urza and Lucy and Gajio. Mar Mary Jane, dude. Or Mira Jane. Dude, Mira Jane. She, oh my god. Seeing her transform in her demon form, dude, I sat there and I was like, oh my god. Because, like, you don't expect, like, even though she was, like, a famous wizard back then, because it shows, like, flashbacks in the show of a lot of the other members of Fairy Tail, which is the guild, even though it shows, like, flashbacks and stuff, she doesn't really do anything. And then... In the most recent episode that I watched, you see her transform and fight, um, Freed of the, uh, Fearsome Trinity. Or the, the Thunder, the Thunder Legion. Yeah, the Thunder Legion, which was actually really, really cool seeing, uh, Mary Jane fight like that. I was like, dang, Mary, Mary Jane going off, transforming into a demon. She just did, like, three attacks, and she was, like, soul extinction. <laughs> and just blasted this dude free, man. It was, like, the best thing ever. But anyways, uh, Natsu. So, the first thing that I did with him is I, uh, chose Aswell for the, uh, weapon style. Because, uh, Natsu is a wizard. He uses magic, he uses fire. So there's that. And then I chose the holy for the soul charge effect. And of course the anime pack. Um, the body. I chose a uh, slightly tall. Uh, second to last one. The... Um... Some of the stuff I changed, like his arms, I kind of changed that a little bit. Um, his stomach muscles, I changed that a little. Uh, his hair, I chose the bad boy grunge hair, which is nice. Uh, for the voice, I chose the young knight, and then I did four and negative two. Um, for the equipment i did the uh arabian vest or arabian vest and then i did the cropped pants the leather wrap for the hips and the cloth neck wrap uh for his neck up there um and then the last part is the straw sandals which is pretty cool so that's it for the equipment um, not for the bad boy, the colors and the patterns. Um, for this, so, and this is dealing with any type of hair that you choose. If you change this first, um, this first, um, tab or box color, whatever you want to call it, at the bottom, like, it'll say different things. Like, the first one... The very first box when you're first going to do it, it'll say change skin tone, change color of the equipment worn. So this one, it'll say change facial hair, the hair color, and the eyebrow color simultaneously, which is nice because then you don't have to do all this. And so uh, Natsu's hair is pink. In case you guys are wondering, uh, the color that I used is 1267 and then the uh eye color that i used is black 
Um, the Arabian vest, uh, I just chose black. So just, it's black. Just go down where it says like the default color and then just do black. The cropped pants, I did all the way white. So you just go down and then go all the way to the right. Um, the leather wrap for the hips. Um, the color that I used is like a dark blue kind of color. And I did 131 one. Uh, for the pattern, I did Animal 9. And then the colors, I did 23.89 for the first color, and then 8.89 for the second. And then the other color, I did 7.74, and that is for the, um, the belt, like, not the actual belt, but like the buckle. And then the back of the robe, I also did the same color, which is 138.0. And then, of course, the neck wrap, uh, I did basic three. I didn't change anything. So the first color is going to be black. The second color is going to be white. And then uh, the sandals. I did black for both colors. So that's it for the colors. This is the important part. So his fairy tale symbol. Now if you look, which is um if you look, his fairy tale symbol is right there. I tried to do it best I could. So, the first sticker that you're going to want to use is uh, Mod 11. And the uh, location you're going to want to place it is the right arm. And the size is a little bit all the way to the left. It's, it's right there. The angle and the vertical, I didn't move at all. Uh, horizontally, I kind of move it kind of... It's kind of the halfway point between all the way horizontal and uh, default. And then, whoops. The vertical angle, I did all the way to the right. And then the horizontal angle is just default. And then flip horizontally and vertically, they both are off. And then the other one that I used for the fairy tale symbol is uh, mod 13, which is the crescent moon. And again, you are going to want this at the right arm. And the size is pretty much all the way to the left. The angle is a little bit to the left. Horizontally, it's kind of in that halfway point. And then the vertical angle is all the way to the right. And then um, flip horizontally and vertically is also off. Now for the stripes for uh, Natsu's vest. The first one you are going to want uh, mod 31, which is right here. The select location, you're going to want upper body. The size is a little to the left. The angle is just a tiny bit to the right. Vertically, it's kind of to the left. Horizontally and vertically are kind of the same. I lined them up, so that's that. Uh, vertical angle, it's almost all the way to the right and then flip vertically uh flip vertically is on so that's going to be another important thing again you're going to want to use the same sticker a second time except you're going to want to uh the 
um, angles and everything else is going to be different. So the size, you're going to want to go all the way to the left. The move vertically, you're going to want to go um, some towards the left. And then horizontally, you're going to want to go toward the right. And then vertical angle is kind of at that halfway point. And then vertically is going to be on again. So that is going to be that. For the leather wrap, uh, you're going to want the hips as the selected location. Obviously, I can't change it. Um, the size, you're going to want to have it like that. The vertically and horizontally are going to be matched. The vertical angle is kind of at the... It's kind of almost all the way to the right. And then vertically is on. And then you're going to want to use the same one again. Uh, size is going to be all the way to the left. Uh, vertically is kind of going to be to the left a little bit. Same with uh, horizontally except to the right a little. Vertical angle is kind of at that halfway point. Um, of right and like all the way to the right. And then vertically is on. So that, that is how you make Natsu, people. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think Fairy Tale is a great anime, man. It's, it's awesome. It's, it's crazy right now. Um, right now, the episode I'm at, uh, they're trying to stop Loxus from taking over, uh, the town, and Loxus is just chilling in Thunder Palace, waiting for the very, the guild to all kill each other, and that's pretty much it, where I'm at in terms of the, um, uh, anime. Also, speaking of fairy tale. I'll be doing a tutorial on how to do Urza uh, to, uh, tomorrow. Um, I'll just show you guys her, just like, just a sneak peek, I guess. Um, the thing about Urza is, if you've ever watched the show, she has different... Uh, she has the magical power of re-equipping different armors to protect herself and for different situations. Uh, I was really torn on what armor to go with for Urza, but I ended up going with the Heaven's Armor version, which is, is really nice. And honestly, it's one of my favorite armors that Urza wears. It's, it's so awesome, dude. It's, it's so ridiculous. I first saw that, I was like, dude, let's go. I love Urza, man. Urza is just, she a savage. She, she don't, she gets, she gets crap done. She, she doesn't wait up on anyone. She just wants to get the mission done once, wants to go straight into work, doesn't mess around. She, she just, she's a savage, man. She has different types of armor. She just, she, she's funny sometimes. But she's funny in, like, a sarcastic, serious way, kind of. Um, I, I don't know, man. She's, like, one of my favorite characters. Just the way that she fights and the way that she does things and the way that her character is. It's, like, it's awesome. That and, and straw, Strawberry Cake, man. Don't, don't mess with Urza and her Strawberry Cake. Her Urza... Or some luster strawberry cake. She she kicked the crap out of Elfman, man. All because Elfman stepped on her strawberry cake. <laughs> it was at the beginning of um the whole uh fairy tale battle royale thing. Which was nice. Like um it, it was cool, man. It was cool. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be my tutorial on how to train Natsu, guys. Subscribe.